Hey everyone, welcome to another By The Numbers video. Uh, today, with the new event coming out, I wanted to cover one of the two new units that we got. This right here is the Wind Zet. Um, he's another DPS unit, so he'll be familiar to most people. But he does have a unique passive that we haven't seen before. Um, his passive is Zet's mechanical arm is powerful enough to pierce the enemy's armor. Defense penetration rate is increased by 25%. When you skill it up, it will go up to 40%. 40% defense penetration. Uh, for those that don't know, defense penetration is, of course, you bypass that amount of the enemy's armor. It'll be extremely effective on tanks that stack DP, uh, defense. Uh, be sure that they're not HP tanks, though. Like Light Arendelle, most people are stacking HP for his shield. Uh, defense tanks could be potentially Water Arendelle. Uh, we'll go over more where he's using the PBS spec in just a minute. So his additional skills, uh, basic attack, slams his fist into a nearby enemy dealing 75% of physical attack, uh, physical damage to a single target. This could skill up to 80, 85, 90, 105, 15% of his physical attack coefficient. So pretty good scaling on his basic attack. Not, not the best, of course, but definitely not the worst. His second skill, Earth Crush, jumps up high and slams his fist into the ground, dealing 55% physical attack, uh, physical damage to all nearby enemies, so AE, plus 55% of physical attack, additional physical damage to the target. And when you skill it up, it, the main coefficient will go up to... That. 80% and then the bonus damage will go up to the same. Um, all in all, pretty sh good AE. Not bad. Uh, his third ability, this arm, powers up his mechanical arm and strikes the enemy dealing 40% physical attack, physical damage to the target and all enemies behind them. Click 70% physical attack additional physical damage to the target with 50% defense penetration rate. So this I'd like to highlight. Um, when you skill it up, uh, it will do more damage, of course. Uh, but the 50% defense penetration rate stays 50% defense penetration rate. Now, this does stack with his passive, which goes to 40%. That's 90% defense penetration rate. On your weapon, you can potentially roll a substat of defense penetration. Um, on one of the weapons I've actually got equipped on him, I got a 5%. That makes it 95% defense. You can get a 10% on your weapon. That's a 100% defense penetration rate. That it, You just totally ignore defense. Just, just, just brush it out of the way. Get it out of here. It's not important. That's going to potentially make the wind zet pretty powerful. Uh, the wind one seems to be the most DPS focused out of the two. Um, I wouldn't say either one is bad. E no, neither Zed is bad, just like neither Fran is bad. But they are definitely two totally different roles. Uh, this Zed will go in and dish out the damage. Let's take a look at the stats here. So we'll, we will take him up to six stars here. Let's look at the six star stats. HP 3120. Um, about typical. I think it's actually matches. Let's look. I think it is actually equivalent the Vina 3120. Is so typical DPS DPS stats. 
3120, exactly the same as Davina Foster. Um, and in fact, you will probably build the same way. Now, he does have a pretty low action charge speed. Um, you can boost that up through substats. In fact, would uh, I wouldn't. Your the subsets that you're going to get, we'll talk about here uh, when we get to the accessory parts. But action charge speed should be part of your consideration. It always should be on most units, especially DPS units. It should. Critical strike chance. He has a default chance of 10%, uh, which is pretty good, uh, especially for a melee unit. Now, magic damage immunity rate. He will take more damage from magic attacks. Physical damage immunity rate, he takes less damage. Now the fire version of Zet, this is even higher because of fire Zet's passive. Uh, block rate default 10% and a default defense penetration rate of 10%. Never mind about wh what I said earlier, you don't need any. He'll have 100% defense penetration rate fully maxed out. Um, so he gets 40% from his passive. This third skill has 50% plus this 10% makes 100% defense penetration rate or win Z. Effect accuracy, he has no skills that inflict a debuff, so does not need any effect accuracy at all. Okay, so for him, I would say the key stats, you don't have to worry about defense penetration rate at all because he will max himself at max skill for his third skill now if you want his other attacks to ignore more feel free throw one of your sub rolls in a weapon into the penetration rate after you consider critical strike chance and critical damage they are your top two that you want on your weapon if your third one rolls by chance into defense penetration rate, but if it if your weapon that you're equipping on him does not have critical strike chance, throw it out, beat it to another one. Um, action charge speed for your accessories, you it should be one of the stats that you're looking for. It should be. So speaking of where is this unit going to be used? He is not going to be used on Nimbanu. Uh, even though out of all the bosses, Mbanu is a tank and probably has the highest defense. Martin, he could could be used. We need to test. Um, he is a physical unit. He is win. Um, he has pretty powerful attacks and his defense penetration could bring a lot to the table. Uh... Unfortunately, his action charge speed is naturally low, so it's going to need some buffs. And let's see, his movement range is is about normal. Uh, same as he mimics Devnia Officer in a lot of ways, uh, especially with his base physical attack. That being said, with that, you're going to want to gear him about the same way as you will... Ebnia Officer, which seems to be the default DPS build. Uh, what you're going to want is, of course, on the weapon, critical strike, crit damage earlier, defense pin if you can get it, if you, his other two attacks. For his accessories, you're going to want the Knight Signet Ring from Lycan. Uh, it's percent physical attack, you do want percent physical attack with him, and you want the critical damage in um, secondary ring that you could get is the one that has percent to attack but rolls action charge speed um, as the third main stat. Subs, of course, you want primarily action charge speed and then secondarily um, physical attack, the, the damage boosting substats. Um, effect accuracy, if you roll effect accuracy substat, that's a wasted substat for him. So, 
you that ring could potentially be better used on someone else. Um, <laughs> Lycan, he'll work just fine. Uh, especially since he has the AE ability, he will be able to knock Lycan out of stealth. Um, and his defense penetration really won't bring much to the table there because Lycan is, is, is an assassin class boss and has a low defense to begin with. Uh, but every little bit helps, right? Um, who to use him with? So... Uh, you can obviously use him paired with Wind Deathmon for additional uh, additional AE damage, and um, they will share the same gear though. Uh, you could bring him a part of. Let's look at the um, Evnia officer, whichever element you've got. Dark. Just pulled today, actually. Um, Devney Officer's leader skill affects uh, wind as well, so Zet can work under a uh, Devney Officer lead. Back to wind. Or Devney Officer can work under a Zet lead for wanted. Uh, Zet is the. Uh, one of the only ones I've seen so far that leadership ability affects three elements water, wind, and shadow. Uh, it raises the entire group's defense penetration by 12% and the physical attack by 15. The only boss that this really will drastically benefit is Martin. Uh, in Banu, you're really. Uh, bringing mages away, so if you slot him on in and Banu, unless you've got him drastically geared and he's taking the damage and, and kill him before he AEs, um, it'll just be a waste to bring him. <clears throat> Lycan, you can use him. Um, defense penetration, it it's a positive. You're just not getting the full benefit because Lycan has such low defense. Uh, physical attack increase, though, is always a good thing. Always. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, let's take a look at him in action here. So, just like... Uh, ooh, two-star. Um, just like in the last video, we're going to go take him to normal. Send him in himself to wreck people. All right, him out, him battle prep. We'll take a look and see what what each one of his skills looks like. <clears throat> All right, so his movement range, as I showed earlier, is four tiles. Um, I do have mine six starred, <clears throat> um, almost level 40, and I'm uh, building his gear currently. All right, <clears throat> so his first <clears throat> his first ability is his basic attack, slams his fist, it's single target. Oh, it hits twice even though it's basic attack. Alright, so his second ability, Earth Crush, is an AE. Uh, jumps up high. This will do... It's twice as well. I imagine the first hit's the regular damage, and then the second is the bonus damage. So the last one is also a cone effect, so kind of AE. Kind of, it's very similar to Nasdan's, Dark Nasdan's Death Sin. I think it is, where he slashes. Uh, same cone effect. Nice. Good. Alright, so there you have it. 
Um, I definitely, out of the two, am most excited about Winzet. Uh, I'm planning on farming as many Zets as possible to skill him up to see what his yes, final form would be. Um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, especially those of you that decided to build Fire Zet. See uh, what you think the pros and cons of each one are. Uh, I will. I am planning to bring a Fire Zet video as soon as I can build as well. Uh, yeah, if you like this video, like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, it allows me to bring you more more content. You can also catch me on Twitch, streaming Monday through Thursday from about 5 p.m. Central Time till about 8, and on Saturdays from noon Central Time until I get tired. Um, appreciate it.